why the future of operations is connected. I'm here with Jeff Hausman, Chief Product Officer for Samsara. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you for having me, Helen. Um, can you tell us a, a little bit about what do we mean by connected exactly? Well, connected operations for Samsara is all about how do we help take the power of data how do we take the power of insights and help people run their businesses better, run them more efficiently, more safely, and more sustainably? Fantastic. And Jeff, what do you see as the major trends shaping operations at the moment? Helen, it's interesting. I would categorize the overall trends in a couple of different areas. First, around data and technology, and second, around people and experiences. On the data and technology front, the evolution of technology has been pretty tremendous. Think about the evolution of networking, edge computing, digital workflows, AI, and more. And when I bring back the word connected, the notion of connected ecosystem that drives value and sort of connected power outside of just any one particular area within a business. On the people side, what's important to realize is the way that you can help people with digital workflows, mobile workflows, ways of removing sort of mundane administrative tasks and automating them, it actually changes the dynamics for how people can actually do their jobs, makes them more engaged, makes them feel better, and that helps with retention, which is one of the critical challenges for organizations today. So it's that balance of both the data and the technology now that evolves and the worker experience and how you improve that. That's very interesting. So there's a mix of improvement in conditions for people and better technology. I just want to go back to something that you said, edge technology. Mm -hmm. This is a, a term that's being thrown around a lot at the moment. And I don't think that our logistics audience necessarily understands what that, what that means. We're talking about devices from all over the place. But perhaps you could give us just a, a little uh, explanation about how it works. Sure, edge computing for us, we are able to install devices or sensors, if you will, in various different, let's say a vehicle. That could be a combination of a gateway, so to speak, a digital dash camera. And the technology exists now where there's enough processing power so I could, for instance, look at an outward facing video and I can process for following distance in real time to give you a real feedback loop that says, ah, you're following too closely. I'm going to give you a warning, if you will, an alert or a nudge in the cab while you're driving. So that ability to do that now with processing power at the edge, that's what I mean when I say edge computing right. as an example. So we're not just talking about RFID tags no, anymore, which, no. which really don't have much <laughs> processing power in the way, if any, if any at all. And, and so the edge, to be clear, is that you, you're right at the edge of your operations. You're, you're in the cab of a truck, you're on an ocean carrying vessel or whatever, um, and, and those devices are gathering information in real time. It's all about providing the insights basically to the right people in the right place at the right time. And so that's not just back office workers, it's also front office, so to speak, whether that's a driver, whether it's a worker in a remote location, in a facility, it could be a variety of different organizations and people. That's really interesting. Thank you for the explanation about edge computing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about some of the technologies that are really exciting you at the moment in this space. There are a number of things that excite me. Number one, if I look at the notion of digital workflows, if I look at the notion of how you can help people actually consume technology in new ways, you know, a lot of our customers talk about the following. They're looking for better efficiencies. They're also looking for safety. So they want to make sure that all their employers are getting home safe. That's the number one job that, that they feel they have. And then certainly they're interested in things around sustainability and whatnot. One interesting example for me from a technology standpoint is one of our customers actually took the application of virtual reality to a whole new level. With the, with the, the challenges that they're facing right now, and this I think started in the notion of when there was the pandemic, as the pandemic progressed, people started to rethink how they were running their business. And in this particular case, this organization in the UK looked at what was happening and thought, I need to rethink how do I run my organization? They used virtual reality. They implemented a virtual reality training program. It immerses you as a field engineer in the job you're actually going to perform. And what they found is that people could really understand and appreciate, is this the right fit for me? And they saw an ability to reduce the attrition, if you will, from 
what would be an industry average in the UK in their particular space of 30% to less than 3%. A tremendous competitive We're advantage talking about attrition here. that is yeah. helping them to right. retain employees and deliver a better experience for their end customers through those engineers. So it's just an interesting application of newer technologies that you might not have thought of previously. Right. So we were talking about an order of magnitude reduction in in uh, attrition rates. That's, Absolutely. That's fantastic. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Samsara. What what do you guys do? Well, Samsara is about digitizing the world of physical operations. And we work with customers across North America and Europe, and we're all about taking data, data around locations, fleets, assets, bringing insights from that set of data and information and sensors, if you will, to improve how they operationalize and how they run efficiently, how they run safely, and how they run sustainably. Uh, you know, I could give you a couple examples of how we're helping organizations to do this. So for instance, one particular large company that does infrastructure services in gas and electric utilities, they were able to use the data to understand that some of their assets were not being as heavily utilized as needed. They were able to actually recoup a million dollars in vehicles and $10 million in other equipment and assets. They recoup that and have now invested back in the business. Another organization that's a Midwest, since we're in Chicago, transport company, they were able to implement a safety program so we can help them understand safe behaviors and improve the coaching, if you will, of their drivers. And what that actually helped them to do is reduce both the number of accidents that they had and improve retention by almost two and a half times of their drivers. Their drivers felt like they were being invested in to drive a program. And the last one that's an interesting one is a passenger transit vehicle company. They implemented what we call digital workflows. So we have a mobile application. It allows them to do inspections digitally. At the beginning of every trip, they use that. It saves them 30 minutes every trip. That's over 500 hours a week. It's about 3 million hours on an annual basis. Saving that kind of time, it's almost like a time machine for them, and they really are able to get benefit from it. And what I find interesting is we're really seen almost as a deflationary kind of uh, a technology. We help drive tremendous ROI and tremendous value. And it really goes with, you know, yesterday we released our state of connected operations report. And one of the things that came out very clear there is that organizations are investing more in technology. In fact, 71% of those respondents said, we're gonna invest more in technology this year. So it really is exciting to see how our capabilities are driving real outcomes for customers. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Jeff, for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Helen. We've been talking about how the future of operations is connected with Jeff Hausman from Samsara. Thank you for watching.